and there are two other ingredients you have to get right in order to make bulletproof coffee. The first one is butter from grass-fed cows, about two tablespoons. The next ingredient that is absolutely required, you owe it to yourself to try it made this way one time, it's called brain octane oil. Brain octane oil is 18 times stronger than coconut oil, specifically for mental clarity. Fat water, fat water, yum, yum, yum. Bulletproof and it's strong. Wanna be healthy, sing along. Extend your life, day by day. Healthy living, that's my way. Bulletproof and it's strong. Join the party and come along. You don't need to feel alone. Don't have to solve it on your own. Being bulletproof is about your body. Headstrong is about the brain. They both need to function throughout your life. They both need to remain in tip top shape if you want to keep going. There is another professor. This fellow here goes by the name of Dave Asprey, and I gotta give it to the guy. He's a self-made entrepreneur that seems to have made a name for himself during the late 90s of the dot-com boom when Google was just starting to make a name for themselves. This dude had his ups and downs in life with his weight and other life issues that aren't really worth mentioning. So. I do have respect for this man in regards to his accomplishments until he came up with this shit. No, say it ain't so, Dave. No, Dave. Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. No, no, no! Dave went from doing his computer geeky shit. You know, I uh, dabbled in that sector for 11 years myself. That's right. Summa cum laude, bitch. We don't play. We gon' rock it till the wheels fall off. To creating a shitty diet. But what the fuck, Dave? I mean, this bulletproof diet crap sucks ass. <sighs> and that's as sophisticated as I'm going to get in regards to this. <clears throat> Clearly, this video has taken a turn for the worst, so word of caution and to the wise. Strap in, ladies and gentlemen, because it's gonna get rough. I don't understand how someone goes from doing cool computer shit to putting cow secretions in bean water and then calling it bulletproof coffee. Do the coffee beans come with mini bulletproof vests? Is that what's going on here? He also calls doing things like putting butter in your coffee biohacking. Did I not get the memo here or, or am I just missing something? Because my TPS reports are on point, son. What's happening? Uh, we have sort of a problem here. Yeah, you apparently didn't put one of the new cover sheets on your TPS reports. I got the memo. I, I think you're actually looking for Dave. You see, we're putting the cover sheets on all TPS reports now before they go out. Did you see the memo about this? Y yeah, I, I got the memo. I, I read the report. I, like I said, I think you're looking for Dave. Yeah. If you could just go ahead and make sure you do that from now on, that would be great. And uh, I'll go ahead and make sure you get another copy of that memo. Yeah, no, no, I've got the report. It's right here. I've, I've got it right here. I, you're looking for Dave. Damn you, Dave. So clearly, Dave didn't get the memo. So let's just get to brass tacks and check out what this bulletproof diet consists of. Okay, in order to get this bulletproof diet roadmap, apparently we gotta download it first. All right, so let's scroll down here. Oh, look, some dead cow parts. How great. All right, all right, so download the bulletproof diet roadmap. All I gotta do is put my email address. Fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here, right here. Feel free to email me at any time you want, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, just throwing that out there. Okay, so let's give this a shot, download now, and see what we get. And all right, all right, it's downloading, fantastic. Here we go, making progress, all right. So essentially what we're dealing with here is what is known as the Bulletproof Food Roadmap. 
This extraordinary work of Professor Art is a compilation of beverages and food items to consume, when to consume these food items, and how much to eat of each of these food items. Dave goes as far as giving you specific foods you should eat. He has a ranking system for the foods and beverages you should and shouldn't be consuming. It goes from bulletproof foods, or I guess what he would call the best foods for people to consume uh, to the uh, toxic foods, that being the worst foods or foods that individuals should never eat according to the uh, professor here. So as we look at the organic veggies section of this bro chart, we have a number of veggies that are considered bulletproof. Hell yeah. As we drift down toward the toxic portion of this section, we see that the professor has listed raw collards, raw kale, raw spinach, corn, canned veggies, and soy. Jeez. I mean, there's a whole lot to cover here, but right off the top, raw collards, raw kale, and raw spinach are considered foods that are borderline toxic, according to the professor. That may be a first. I guess all those vitamins that don't get diminished when you don't cook your vegetables somehow and magically make these three particular vegetables borderline toxic. But that's okay because the Bulletproof Roadmap allows you to eat foods like coconut oil, egg yolks, dead cow fat, dead lamb flesh, colostrum, and a whole bunch of shitty Bulletproof food products and supplements like dark chocolate and brain octane oil that are all considered bulletproof. Yes. Let's back up here for a second. This bulletproof roadmap recommends colostrum by putting it in the bulletproof zone, but a drink like soy milk and a food item like beans are considered toxic. Let's look into that. For those of you who don't know, colostrum is that thick, white, yellowish substance that is secreted from a mammal's breasts after she has given birth to her baby. It's meant for infants to drink as colostrum is rich in antibodies. And it's understandable for humans to drink this during infancy from their own respective mothers. But there's the issue. You see, I don't think Dave is advertising this bulletproof roadmap to infants and I don't think he means human colostrum. So I think it's pretty safe to assume that Dave is talking about bovine colostrum. So Dave is saying that this white, yellowish, fatty protein liquid meant for baby calves is healthy for human consumption. Well, the numbers never lie. So as we look at the saturated fat and cholesterol content, we can see that this bovine colostrum is loaded with both. Additionally, we cannot forget that this secretion is coming from a cow. With that said, we have to question if there are any hormones associated with this whitey yellowish secretion coming from this, these pork cows, and specifically estrogen and IGF-1. And if we look at this study, yes, colostrum has estrogen and of course, it has IGF-1 as well too. So let's sum up here. Dave thinks greens like raw kale, raw spinach, raw collards are borderline toxic and soy milk is toxic along with a food item like beans. I guess the lack of cholesterol, saturated fat, trans fat, hormones, endotoxins, AGEs, and heterocyclic amines make a food source like beans toxic because you know, all those vitamins and minerals and you know, fiber are so detrimental to human health. Let's now hear some expert advice from the professor who, which by the way, is totally qualified to give nutritional advice to people. This week, I got a chance to hang out with a friend who's six months pregnant. She had eaten zero red meat and very little butter for the first six months. And when you're pregnant, your body needs those as building blocks. When you're pregnant, your body needs red meat as building blocks. Wow. If there was ever a 
an award for the Professor Science Nutrition Expert of the Year, Dave Asprey would be a very, very strong nominee. That being said, do I really have to get into why people, especially why pregnant women, should not eat dead cows? I'll breeze over it. It's pretty much got all the bad shit that colostrum has, minus some of the hormones, but in its place, it's got a whole bunch of AGEs, endotoxins, heterocyclic amines, and much, much more animal proteins. So, dead cow flesh is not the building blocks for pregnant women, or any woman, or man, and much less any child. With all this said, I have yet to mention how these components are actually bad for human health because this low carb keto marketing scam will have you believing that dietary cholesterol and saturated fat are actually good for you or promote weight loss, which could not be any further from the truth. These two substances found in all animal products are the main drivers of atherosclerotic plaque buildup by raising LDL cholesterol levels. Higher levels of LDL cholesterol means more atherosclerosis, more endothelial cell damage, which causes more clogged arteries. More clogged arteries means more disease, so why? Why, oh why is homeboy advising these shitty dietary recommendations he's tagged as the bulletproof diet well that's definitely a great motivator there it's just my guess as well too now I'm not saying there's anything wrong with making some dough but when you're giving non-factual dietary advice to people and claiming this is the answer to weight loss or optimizing your life and then saying this is a form of biohacking and you get offended when doctors rebuttal your little scam here. So, so these, one, these other doctors like Dr. Mark Hyman who runs functional medicine for Cleveland Clinic who has a quote on the cover of my New York Times best-selling book about fat and hundreds of others including cardiac surgeons who recommend the bulletproof diet to their patients they're, they're all wrong right, right? they are wrong they are <laughs> no I, I mean I, when i say wrong they're flat out wrong like to me i feel like I'm, <laughs> it's like but I gotta... you essentially come off as a scumbag so i've already taken down a padawan learner of this low carb, bulletproof, keto crap, whatever in a previous video. Link will be somewhere up here. The young man I made a response video to did not provide any evidence in his response, just a bunch of empty statements. So I'll gladly take the win on that one, but I'm not counting. Dave Asprey, here's your award. So another one in the books, ladies and gentlemen. I know I've already skimmed this topic already in regards to this low carb keto nonsense. But you see, when someone is preaching this as if they have just found the fountain of youth and talks all this shit as he fills his pockets with the money of individuals, these poor people who are just trying to find a solution to their bad lifestyle eating habits, I find it compelling to expose the person who is taking advantage of those said people. Plus, it's fun to see them get pissed off. So that's about it, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to let me know what you think in the comment sections down below. If you disagree, please make sure to attach your references, your science-backed references, because you know I love to interact with all of you. I truly do. And that being said, as I said before, I appreciate every single one of you. If you dislike the video, make sure to hit that thumbs down button. If you like the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel, love me, hate me, it's all good. 
Make sure to subscribe so I can keep you updated on the weekly. I'm the Natural Hawkster. I want to thank you for watching and please stay tuned for the next one.